Hello and welcome to a recap of today's Creative Commons open source office hours. Today we've been hanging out on codebuddies.org during the live code session and the task has been to try out the WordPress env um, plugin which makes it relatively easy to start a development environment for your WordPress theme plugin or general WordPress projects that combine multiple themes and plugins. We've got a pull request open on GitHub. Uh, we've removed more lines than we've added. Most of the lines we've added, I think, have been documentation. And just so you can see, the um, project is running here at localhost port 8888, which is the default port for WPN. Let's take a quick look through the files that changed. Um, so a lot of this, as I mentioned, was removing uh, files that were no longer needed. Uh, and I'll mention another uh, detail. We are developing these um, this WordPress project with several subcomponents, at least two child themes, uh, two themes, uh, one base theme, and a, which is a child theme, and one main theme. Uh, so what I'd like to be able to do, and I'd like the developers to be able to do, is um, clone this project creativecommons.org, which is the uh, revitalization of the Creative Commons WordPress theme, and develop the subcomponents in place. So to do that, I um, actually didn't so much deviate from the WordPress end setup, uh, which does let you clone themes and plugins from Git, uh, but I bypassed that and I'm using git submodules because when you use the WP or WordPress inf um, project, it'll clone those subcomponents in read only mode, more or less. You don't have access to them, so you can grab your themes and plugins here, and they can be either local folders or GitHub repository, even a zip file. Uh, and that worked, and it was, it was a great way to get started. But again, we want to be able to develop these in context. We'll have all, all of the uh, ingredients together and need to maybe modify the base theme and then the main theme, depending on where the um, relevant code changes are. So if to that, we've um, switched over to using mappings, which is uh, essentially a, a dictionary of folders inside of the Docker container, inside of the WordPress Docker container, and the folders inside of the project. We'll come to those in a moment. But here's how we get those folders inside of the project. We're using git submodules, and we're pulling in this other project under Creative Commons. It's our base theme. Here is the uh, WPN configuration. It's really minimal. It's kind of uh, very simple. And in fact, a, few, a couple of these lines could have just been removed. More or less, we're pulling in the latest um, WordPress core version. Uh, I did need to add these um, to the project folder so that WPN could uh, kind of ascertain what type of a project it's looking at. Um, if you just run the WP, um, what's the command here? Sorry, I'm new to this. It was a uh, little bit of memory. Uh, it's simple though. WPN start command in a like a theme folder or whatever. It'll kind of pick things up automatically. It's really um, well developed like that. And by the way, this is maintained um, as you can kind of see by the WordPress core development team, and so it's part of the WordPress core uh, documentation as well, which is another reason that we're switching over to this from our own bespoke Docker Compose files. Um, I had to kind of fiddle with the PHP version. There were some weird errors uh, relating to Xcode. I'm not quite sure I've uh, resolved them. I think it's something to do with rebuilding the PHP um, container or the WordPress container and uh, having already installed um, Xcode and Peckle tries to run and install it again. So actually I had to bump the version uh, or destroy the image and maybe the image wasn't getting destroyed. In any case, um, it's probably good to specify the uh, PHP version. And I tried specifying the WordPress version, but I got an error. So I'm just using null here again to use the latest uh, development version. Plugins and themes are currently empty. We're not kind of pulling anything down, but we might need to use those in the future, particularly the creativecommons.org website does have some dependencies on plugins in the WordPress ecosystem. And originally I was using the theme mapping to pull 
in our GitHub repository, but now I'm using this folders map. So what we're doing is just saying that the um, Creative Commons base theme should be installed in the container, the WP content themes Creative Commons base, and that in our repository, it's just here and Creative Commons base path from the root directory. Other than that, we've got some documentation um, changes, a lot of removals are, are, you know, developer onboarding docs were, they were relatively streamlined. We had done some work on them to get the Docker Compose set up, but all that became uh, basically obsolete when switching over to WP env. So you can see probably more red than green here. And here's the bulk of the instructions. Other than that, we're just removing files and uh, I've omitted the port number so you can see the port by default runs in 8888 and you had to kind of dig through the docs a little bit to find the username and password but it is down here somewhere here we are so I just added that to the readme to avoid a little bit of confusion but that's it overall I'm pretty uh, excited by this transition to WordPress env project and git sub modules this is a relatively significant step um, hopefully that we won't have to take again once we've crossed this bridge we can then continue uh, the actual development of the project but I needed to kind of get a simple way for myself and other potential contributors to get started this has um, been a codebuddies.org live code hangout we're trying to have these office hours on codebuddies.org to encourage other community contributors or open source enthusiasts to stop by and have uh, discussions, bring up other topics or showcase their projects. You can also host your own hangouts or join other hangouts on codebuddies.org. And we're developing uh, Creative Commons open source. If you'd like to get involved with this or other projects at the Creative Commons, join our developer community and follow us on Twitter for updates about our recent development activities. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.